544 and a question for you now. Have you ever heard of this, a relay attack? No? Well, it's when someone hacks your key fob, makes a duplicate, and uses that to gain access to your car. One woman believes that's how someone was able to steal her car while she was at work. Our Angelica Robinson has the story. The woman I spoke with says her car was parked in a garage near Riley Outpatient Center. She says the doors were locked, but around 4 o'clock, surveillance video shows someone driving off with it. Tara Holleran typically parks her Cadillac Escalade in the same spot inside Riley Outpatient Center Garage. At first I thought I must have just parked it someplace different. When she left last Wednesday, she realized her car wasn't there. Searched all my usual spots and then searched the spots that aren't my usual spots. The doors were locked and her key fob wasn't inside, but somehow a thief managed to drive off with it. I think I had a little bit of a false sense of security um, about the possibility of it being stolen. The number of car thefts is on the rise and experts say thieves could be cloning your key to do it. It's called a relay attack. The key fob emits a radio signal. The thief can copy it and make their own key to get into the car. That's likely what happened in this situation. She says she can usually track the car's location using OnStar. When that didn't work, she reported the car stolen with IU police. A spokesperson with the department says camera footage in the area shows the vehicle leaving the parking garage just before 4 p.m. on January 10th. They haven't been able to identify the person driving the car. Right now, it's still under investigation. Unfortunately, I think that criminals do stay up with technology and maybe ahead of technology. So the more things we add to cars, um, they find ways around them. In the meantime, Holleran says she wants people to be aware that this could happen to them. Reporting in Indianapolis, Angelica Robinson, 13 News. Thanks, Angelica. And experts say the only way to protect your key from getting hacked is to place it in a safe place. And there's a special protection bag that stops hackers from gaining access to the frequency in the key fob. One thing we reported earlier, ladies, is that also a coffee tin can can also help. So a cheaper option there as well. But where yeah. are they, when are they getting it? Like when she leaves her car, are they getting her there? I'm not a hundred percent. You're not a criminal. <laughs> I'm not the criminal doing this, yeah. but I think as as she was mentioning, it, it picks up a signal in some kind of way. So when exactly it's picking yeah. up that signal is a good question. Right, because if you take your fob with you into work or into the mall or into the grocery yeah. store, are they intercepted? It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and how close do they have to be in range? Oh, so that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got questions, as you say. Yes. I've got questions. Alicia. I've got questions. <laughs>